Hello survivors and welcome to another Walking Dead of Road to Survival video and in this video we're going to be taking a first look at Casanova Davy, who is going to be a gold mythic character coming to the ultra token world. It is going to be another Valentine's Davy, as I guess we've never seen him before there's a lot going on when it comes to his art on the right hand side and the left hand side. We'll go over the right hand side we can see the weapon he's got in his hand look like maybe some you know, pruning shears for like you know roses and stuff like that but obviously it's going to be a weapon he's also got a camera in his hand i don't know he's got quite a lot going on there's also a balloon i do not want to know where that is tied to if i'm honest if we go over to the left hand side we can see davy here as well and you can see the finger with a ring on it in his hands now if you remember the avatar from the valentine's there was a missing finger and this potentially could be it. You can kind of see the reflection of the person that's sitting here who is in a straight jacket and stuff. I th is that Carol? I want to go ahead and say that potentially could be Carol. Any, any guesses, please let me know. If we look at his stats at level 1,440, limit break three, he has got 15,466 attack. 29,386 defense and 32,479 HP. He is a fast character. He is going to be a support role character as well. Gold Mythic, of course. And he is going to be another character joining the Holiday Heroes, of course, as he is Valentine's Davy. So, first up, we're going to look at his Adrenaline Rush, and it is called Loving You Deadly. It has got a recharge rate of 55, so pretty fast. A defense team character by the looks of things, so that's kind of normal. Revive a teammate with 100% of their max HP. While battling on the defense team, this character deals damage equal to 25% of their current HP to two enemies, but it gets a modifier of plus 5% more for each living enemy on the actual enemy team, of course. So obviously two parts of this. The Reviver teammate is quite nice. That comes in first. That's going to happen whether he's on an attack team, defense team, or if he's in any sort of game mode. But you only will get the second part if he's on your defense team in raids and war, so on and so forth. Now, it will do 25% damage to two enemies. But I think regardless, no matter what, as long as there's two enemies alive, it will always do 35% minimum. Because there's obviously two enemies alive. But if there's five enemy enemies alive, it will do 50%. 50% of his current HP to two enemies. And you know how you can get on defense teams. You can get over 100,000 HP without too much of a problem. So he could potentially just do 50k damage to two enemies really, really quickly in a fight. Okay, so here we are attacking. We have got Davey on the defense team. He has got around about 72k HP. And because we've got two enemies alive, it should be doing 35% of that, which is going to be around about 21 to 25,000 damage. It's probably going to kill both of my my actual characters here. Defending doesn't do anything because even if I get a defense buff, it shouldn't do anything. And he'll do the rush. And out comes the damage. 25k a piece. Now, while that damage is enough to kill the majority of attack team characters, obviously, he's going to get a bigger amplifier if there are more characters alive. It should go up to around about 36,000 damage now. We'll hit the defend action. And it's going to be 36,000 damage coming out because that's 50% of his current HP. Obviously, the higher you get this character's HP, the more potential damage that this could do. And I can easily see this character getting 100 to 130,000 HP without too much of a problem. And that, of course, is going to be extremely problematic for any attack team character you saw like effectively the worst case scenario almost when there's two characters alive it will still do pretty decent damage when he hasn't got really any crazy buffs on him when it comes to his hp now if we look at the upgrades on the adrenaline rush you can see at grade three it gets plus 50 percent to revived hp so initially it is going to be 50 percent hp to the revived character then it's going to go to 100 100 obviously on a revived character is crazy it could be like nor Massive amounts of HP there. At grade 5, you're going to get an upgrade. While battling on the defense team, this character deals damage equal to 10% of their current HP to two enemies, and then plus 5% more for each living enemy. Then at limit break 2, it gets a boost, where it's going to do 25% initial damage, rather than it being 10%. So obviously, it just increases the second half of it um, with the limit breaks. Obviously, very powerful potential damage output. You know, it's going to be not 
super easy to get this rush to actually happen because that's how it works on defense teams. But if it does, it's going to be massively problematic for two characters on the attack team. And he can rush pretty quickly just because, obviously, defense team characters gain AP a little bit quicker. They don't have to wait you know, or get any AP you know, from any other sources. They're always going to be able to rush turn three guaranteed as long as they've got a turn one or turn two signature move, which the majority of characters obviously do. So this rush, like I say, very powerful. Going to be able to take down two enemies most of the time, regardless of who they are. Even with bonus HP a lot of the time, because like I said, if you get Davy up to 120k HP, he's doing 60k damage on this when everyone is alive on the enemy team. There's not many attack team characters that could survive that with 100% bonus HP. So yeah, very problematic for sure. Now the next thing we're going to look at is Davy's signature move and it is called Protected Embrace. It has got an initial cooldown of turn one, cooldown of one turn, number of uses unlimited. All teammates get 50% defense and defense down block for two turns. Heal all fast and alert teammates for 75% of their max HP for two turns. Now obviously he's going to be able to do this pretty much all the time. He's going to basically do his signature move turn one. He'll do a basic attack turn two, rush turn three, then do a signature move again, so on and so forth. Rotation, rotation, rotation. He'll obviously do things a bit quicker if there's things like commands in the in the like team, or if there's potentially him taking damage or any other AP gain sources. But yeah, very uh, very quick turnaround. Quite a nice heal here. He's not a healer, so it's not going to be any bonus HP coming in from this. So I know a lot of people might think, oh, well, even if he gets one bonus HP, it's going to buff someone like Sophia. That's not actually going to be the case in this you know, setup. The 50% defense is obviously going to reduce damage taken from characters. Um, rushes, basic attacks, multi-hit rushes, whatever it is. So, so it's obviously increasing survivability. But it is only going to be to two traits. It is only going to be to fast and alert. And that's probably going to give a little kind of like teaser onto what his potential leader skill is also going to be, you know, for. But um, let's just check this out when it comes to Davey using this on the defense team. But I think it's going to be pretty straightforward. So I'm going to do the attack here and I'll just defend on all my characters. And you'll see Davey just do his signature move. And we'll see a heal go in on teammates. This is going to be good against things like infection. But also the defense buff and defense down block will come in as well. We have got two fast characters here. So it should go in on both characters. And you see a 50% heal, defense down block as well um and obviously the defense buff comes in as well so yeah much more survivability that way when it comes to taking damage it's not going to be as powerful now obviously you can still some of these positive effects away but these are a lot of positive effects that you just basically put on him if you have other characters doing positive effects too you can't guarantee which effects you're going to steal away again it, that can be an issue so we'll just go straight into the upgrades. You can see at grade 2 it gets plus 50% heal. So initially it's going to be a 25% heal to alert and fast teammates. At grade 4 it gets an upgrade where all teammates get the 50% defense buff for 2 turns. At limit break 1 you get minus 1 to starting cooldown. So it goes from a turn 2 starting cooldown down to a turn 1 starting cooldown. And at limit break 3 it gets an upgrade where all teammates get defense down block for two turns. This is obviously just going to increase the potential survivability just because defense down obviously makes teams much easier to, you know, take out. The defense down block is going to stop that potential. And obviously with that plus the defense, it just means, yeah, it's going to it's going to increase the survivability. It's pretty much as simple as that. Um, this is pretty straightforward. Like I said, it's not going to add any bonus HP because he is not of the medic role. So he's not going to be giving the bonus HP through that. So that can be seen as a positive for some people just because of Sophia and the way she works when it comes to doing extra damage against characters with bonus HP. So I think this synergy moves decent. I think it's pretty straightforward. He's gonna get this off really early in the fight and he's gonna get this off quite often as well. And you know these heal over times all stack. So if there are other characters in the team that obviously give out heal over time, then obviously it's going to be able to stack with that. And if there's any characters that get bonuses when they're full HP, someone like Noor, then they will obviously give bonus HP based on their, their special skill if you team them up. Because she is alert, she will get that heal. So a lot of the fast characters, of course. Now before we move on to the passives, we're going to be doing a giveaway on this video. And it's going to be for 10,000 Ultra Mythic Tokens. And that is, of course, because 
Davy is an Ultra Mythic Token character. He's going to be on the Ultra Mythic Token wheel. Get yourself 10,000 Ultra Mythic Tokens if you win. All you have to do is type in the chat down below the word hot. Obviously, it is Valentine's character, so it makes sense. Make it as part of a bigger sentence just so that you don't get spammed out by YouTube. Best of luck if you enter. Now back to the video. So we're going to go over Casanova Davies' mythic abilities. These are his passive skills. He has got cunning because he is a support character when attacking or being attacked. 30% less likely to trigger enemy weapon effects and walker effects. Now, he's not going to trigger this too much when attacking because he's only going to be on his basic attacks. But it will obviously trigger a lot when he's being attacked. And this is actually pretty decent. It will stop things like ransack potentially. It will also potentially stop things like stun on attack double attack these sort of things so it can be seen as like a almost like a preemptive resist in certain cases if someone has a 60 percent chance to stun weapon he has 30 percent flat rate to reduce that chance of even proccing so it's going to go down to 30 percent chance to even proc in the first place then potentially he could resist afterwards so that's kind of good on davy here the next one's called kind-hearted care at the start of each wave, 100% chance this character and two other teammates get 100% heal reduction resistance for three turns. This is going to come in before, you know, anything's done when it comes to attacks and so on and so forth. So that heal on his first turn signature move should pretty much always come off unless he manages, you know, you steal away those resistances. But if you don't and you maybe wait a turn, like I said, you're going to stack up positive buffs. So it's going to be very hard to control which effects you're going to steal away from characters when he's in the team. The next one's called Healthy. It's pretty basic. He gets a 60% HP bonus. Some of you might have been thinking, well, how's he going to get 130k HP? I don't see that being the case. Well, now you know. The more you know, now you know. This is obviously going to multiply weapons, leader skills, so on and so forth. Next up is called Well Kept Head. At the start of each wave, 100% chance this character and two other teammates get 100% crosshairs resistance for two turns. This is good just for Davey by himself, but the fact that he gives it to two other teammates as well is really powerful because effectively you're just giving like decap resistance to a certain extent to two teammates, which is really, like I say, not powerful. Most of the people who do things like headhunt are damage roll characters, so they're not going to be able to reduce the potential of this down to like, you know, the 60%. So it's very, very good against what is available on attack teams right now. This can, of course, get stolen away, but it's going to play into the same issue this heal reduction one has, where all those buffs are going to be stacked up. If someone's got like five buffs, so you can only steal away two. Who knows which ones you're going to steal away. So these passives look pretty good for Davey himself, but also the fact that he buffs other teammates with the heal reduction resistance and with the crosshairs resistance it looks very good indeed just increasing the chance that characters that get taken out aren't going to be decapped and also obviously that they can be healed or even revived because of course 100 percent hero reduction on a character would make it so they are unrevivable as well so if we start this fight you can see there's quite a lot of buffs on the enemy team already but if we hit the defend action we'll let them do all their buffs it's going to be quite a few there's going to be the crosshairs resistance is coming in there's going to be the heal reduction resistances coming in as well because of Davy, And like I say, it's going to be hard to actually steal away very specific buffs if I wanted to steal things away. Obviously, it also makes things take longer to do. So let's say if I tried to do a um, normalize on a character that potentially had a resist, you know how frustrating it is to watch all those buffs go around to see if it actually landed or if they still got it. Well... This is basically playing into it a little bit. It's just going to make it slightly longer to actually attack teams potentially. So looking at the upgrades, you can see at grade one, he gets the first half of kind-hearted care, where it's a 50% chance that this character and two other teammates get 100% heal reduction for two turns. It's going to be the resistance coming in. Then we have at grade two, the first half of cunning, making it 15% less likely to proc weapons. At grade three, we get the second half of kind-hearted care, making it a 100% chance those hill reduction resists are going to come in. At grade 4, he gets 20% max HP. So even at a lower grade, he's going to get boosted HP, which is obviously going to increase his you know, tankiness, but also the damage output of that adrenaline rush. At grade 5, he'll get 50% chance that two other teammates and Davy himself will get crosshairs resistance. Basically, it's going to be exactly the same as the kind of hearted care upgrades that we saw. Because when we move on to limit breaks, it should go up to max 
with Cunning 2 coming in at LB1, making it 30% less likely. Healthy 2 coming in, making it 60% max HP boost. And then an LB3 will give Well Kept Head 2, making a 100% chance that this character and two other teammates get 100% crosshairs resistance for two turns. So lots of resist going on to his teammates. Very nice indeed. Lots of HP going on to Davey. Nice just for survivability, but it's going to obviously increase that damage output on his Adrenaline Rush as well. Make him more likely to actually be able to survive to be able to do it as well. So rather than a character you can kind of just sideline and see, you know, not being that big a deal, he's going to be kind of a priority target on some defense teams. And there are already some nice, def you know, characters out there for defense teams where if they start to get rolling, it's problematic. So, you know, I'm thinking about team-ups of Casanova Davy and someone like Sebastian Milton. So, you know, Sebastian Milton, you have to control and, and deal with, otherwise he's going to actually destroy you. And the same can be said for Casanova Davy. So they could work quite well together. Um, the passives are nice. Nice spread of how it's going to work. Very support role when it comes to helping his teammates, but also, like I say, helping himself. Now, Davy does not have a special skill. He is going to be a leader and a defense leader at that. His leader skill is all fast and alert teammates get 40% defense, but all teammates get 40% HP. This is obviously meaning that it's going to be a 40-40 leader, which we haven't seen yet, I don't believe. I don't think Tyrese was 40-40, but we kind of are going to get it for the first time. If anyone remembers back to the S-Class era, there was a Jackie lead who was alert and fast. And also, I think back to the six-star era, was it Donnie? So quite a lot of history when it comes to alert and fast defense teams and Casanova Davy is going to be the defense team leader and there's a lot of nice alert and fast teammates that he's going to be able to be in a team with a lot of Skybound X characters there's going to be Sebastian Milton like I said we also had Kyle as well that's going to buff alert characters so you can do mix and match you could potentially have Martinez in that team as well with a boosted HP I believe so that's going to help Davy as well more damage for his rush Potentially his HP could be launched up to like 150k by the sounds of things. Um, yeah, it's going to be kind of crazy. So even if there's only one character alive and he does 30% of his current HP, it still potentially could get up to like 45k damage, which is, like I say, absolutely insane. So nice leader skill. And like I say, I think most people will kind of have a good feeling about fast and alert teams. Stun guns and absolute defense. Pretty dreadful mix when it comes to what you're going to be attacking against. Now next up we're going to look at his weapon, Casanova Davies weapon is going to be a Valentine survival knife. I thought it was like shears, it does look kind of like shears right, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it does anyway. 40% HP, 40% defense, reflect damage when being attacked, a better chance to deal 120% of the damage to the enemy. And in the last one it has group halo at the start of each wave, all teammates get 25% halo for one turn. This is the same four slot as i believe circuit so obviously quite a nice one there it's going to be an, another buff on top of all the other buffs that are going to be going around on the teams so again it's hard to steal away something specific it's going to be even more problematic with the next one going to everybody he's going to be getting massive survivability do remember that the hp and defense on this weapon will just multiply with his leader skill and then obviously multiply with that passive as well it's going to be crazy amounts of hp that he's going to be getting i tested it out just putting him on a team without anything too crazy and he has like 105k just off of base no mods no support characters nothing like that actually boosting it yeah it's going to be pretty easy to get that hp number up nice and high the weapon looks cool too i like the uh the visuals the kind of like hearts engraved on the back of the blade it's kind of interesting um, but yeah, the weapon itself is pretty decent. Obviously, the third slot is up to you what you want to do there. You could keep reflect. You could try and go for absolute defense. Like I say, completely your choice. So that is a little look at Casanova Davy, and he is going to be the next ultra token will character coming to RTS. He is going to be a really problematic character on defense teams. Like I say, the, the combo of fast and alert is nasty even just by the weapons like i said before stun guns and absolute defense together not a nice combo there's a lot of 60 percent chance to proc weapons out there now as well this is going to be the team where you're going to desperately desperately need some sort of disarm potential otherwise you're going to be getting very heavily controlled 
or you're going to be getting problems when it comes to actual AP gain on those attacks. So, yeah, you've got to, got to figure something out when it comes to these sort of teams. Not much bonus HP coming out of Casanova Davy as well, so not a big boost on the damage potential of someone like Sophia, who's very, very good damage to it right now. But um, I can see a plenty of characters that could be joined up with Davy that aren't medics either. So, yeah, maybe a little kind of semi-counter to, to the Sophia attack teams that are going around right now. Do tell me your thoughts, though, on Casanova Davy, another Valentine's Davy character. Like I say, thoughts in the comments down below. Best of luck if you do enter the giveaway as well. That is the end of my video. I want to thank you very much for tuning in. And as always, keep on surviving, guys. Keep on surviving.